Alrighty guys, welcome back to part two of building this insane predatory pond right here. And you already know what I'm gonna say. If you haven't already watched part one, I don't know what you're doing watching part two. You can't just watch part two of a series before not even watching part one. So definitely watch that, it'll be right up there. And then click immediately back to this video whenever you're done. And so now that hopefully most of you have watched it, just in case some of y'all are really too lazy like me to go back and watch it. Basically, last video, we dug a hole right here, right next to the mini pond, made ledges, deep area, medium area, shallow, like spawning area, and then threw a tarp in it, filled it up with water, and then surrounded it with rocks. And we bought all that stuff, of course, in the middle of the video. So that was all basically part one was pretty much building the pond. Now that it's pretty much built, we don't really have anything to do but like landscaping. And uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Pretty much just all landscaping. Oh, and of course, putting the filter in, which is, of course, I don't have electricity out here. If you don't know, well, you got issues, but it is a Louisa. Louisa, definitely not how you say that, solar powered fountain pump. It is the same as this right here, and it will keep this pond, the water healthy, running, oxygenated, cool, filtered, clean, everything you want in water, and we'll probably end up, end up getting like two more of those off Amazon. They're like $40. Put like one there, one there, one there, or something, but that is all in the future. And here is what it looks like if you're wondering. It's like, I don't know. About that big of a little solar panel and it's still like I don't know 1030 in the morning and this thing is already kicking strong if you can see that is quite a bit of flow just for this little pond right here and it'll do the exact same thing actually probably even more because this one's more in the Sun than that one but uh yeah I'm already getting off topic the next step in here is of course you cut off the excess tarp from after putting around the rocks you already know and then put this stuff on which uh it doesn't really have a name or it probably does but the little label thing fell off so i don't know what it is but it's basically the exact same stuff i put around the mini pond that just keeps the rocks in so they don't just slide out and you know sort of like go everywhere it keeps them in and keeps it looking nice i'm just gonna call it like a garden trim liner thing All right, well, I got all the excess tarp trimmed. As you can see, it's nice and clean around here. And I only did get one little, like, uh, thing of that, like, sort of garden trim. And it starts from here, goes around, and ends there. And it's just staked down with those little stakes right there. And, of course, it'll look a lot better whenever I add all this gravel. So I'm definitely going to have to get another one of these to fill in that space right there. And I'm also going to have to get a lot more gravel. I underestimated how much it's going to take, but, uh, well, that happens every single time anyway, so I'm going to start using the gravel I have to fill up these spaces right in here, just like I did with this pond right here. about two years of boring time lapses and four recharged batteries later 
here we have the completely finished rocked pond from larger rocks, medium rocks, tiny pebbles outside the pond except for that one section right there where I didn't have any more of whatever that stuff is called. I don't think I'll do that in this video but next time I go to Lowe's I'll just go ahead and do that off camera. And of course the pebbles inside the pond of course made a little bit uh, cloudy even though I wash it off in the bucket like you saw in the boring little like montage thing there. But now basically all we have to do to finish up this pond right here is uh, throw in the few like I don't know one two three four plants that I have right there scatter them around and then uh, well we should be done oh and of course install the filter I'll go ahead and do that right now it's basically the most simple thing you already did I already threw all the like spare parts and stuff in the box away I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I did with that one and uh, well I'll show you it right now yeah, right there even though you probably can't see anything it's pretty simple just angle this thing you can hear it already going crazy as soon as it's exposed to the sun. And uh, even though it is only solar powered, these things are pretty powerful. So I'll just hide all the cords underneath here just like that right there. Grab this thing. Sorry for the noise. And uh, I think I'll probably put it right there I know you can't see that but I just put it on the shelf right there and as you can see full sun that is what that thing does and I mean honestly I think that will do pretty good maybe one more over on that shelf and this pond should be pretty set a lot of y'all might disagree with me but uh I've had multiple other ponds just like that one be very successful just with one of these or two of these little things right here now I'm actually gonna grab this little elephant ear plant right here and uh well I'm not sure if it's meant for this, but I've seen people do this before, at least with plants that look like this. Once again, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm gonna rip the roots out of here and see if I can shove it in there and make it sort of a aquatic plant, so we'll see how that goes. 2,000 years later. Okay, well, uh, that's sort of what it's looking like right now. I sort of just power washed the roots off with the hose and all the dirt just came flying off, so now I just have the roots right here and I'm thinking that I can let's see let me grab a couple rocks here we go now I think that I'll just be able to sort of like hold it down at least hold the roots down with those rocks right there maybe like right here yeah that's pretty good from my point of view. And just stack these guys up. Hmm. Well, maybe something like that. Well, there's no telling if it'll live or not. I'm almost certain it won't, but I mean, it looks kind of cool. Maybe whenever it perks up, it'll look cool. But uh, for now, I think I'm just going to leave that where it is and go ahead and start planting those around it. All right, well, I already got one of the plants, as you see right there, that green thing laying there. And I have this one right here, which is some kind of fern, I think. Foxtail fern, yeah, sure, whatever. And I'm going to put it right here. I don't have a trowel, so I'm just gonna dig it with my hands, I guess. I think that might work. Probably not. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Sha. Alright, well this is probably getting boring already. I have to finish with this one 
and add one more so uh, I will see y'all whenever all the plants are in and basically uh, the entire pond will be done at that point so I will see you then. Alright well the long awaited predatory fish pond is completely complete so uh, are you ready? Boom. Right there. As you can see, if you're wondering why this little fountain thing, and yeah, by the way, I put the little, like, covering thing over it. That makes it, instead of just look like that, which is kind of boring, but even though it does put a lot of flow out, I put that up just for the sake of the video to make it look cool. And normally it is, like, up here and then going like, oh, but there's a cloud in front of the sun, so solar panel back there isn't doing a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, here it is. Of course, you already know we have, like, the 8-inch medium shelf deeper little basin area of the pond if I come over here it'll be better eh, a little bit medium deep and then the like five inch there you go the sun's coming out that is what it's normally going to look like we got this plant elephant ear looking thing over here that probably is going to die soon but I mean who cares that plant right there that I also bought with that one over there that one that I actually just dug up from right there just to add like the more plants around here the better we get that little fern looking thing and this like is called like ground cover plant or something like that and uh i mean if you stand back the camera obviously doesn't do it justice but i mean it looks it looks pretty insane of course the only things left that we have to do to make this thing complete is uh well of course Add fish, that's obvious. Add aquatic plants, just like, you know, the floating things that we always have in the ponds. Or just little weeds like that right there that actually look pretty good and provide cover and shade for the fish. And we just need the last little, like, six feet stretch of this trim garden stuff, which ends right there and ends right there. So we just need that, and then we'll add the rocks. And most of these things, of course, uh, obviously not the fish, will be off camera. So basically... For y'all, this pond is completely done and ready for fish, and I don't need to dechlorinate it right now because it's going to be out in the sun for probably almost a week before I'm going to add any fish, and the sun naturally evaporates the like chlorine out of there. I'm not sure how that works. I just read it somewhere, so the fish will be ready when I put them in here. And uh, I've been rambling for a while, and I would do a quick montage of the end of the finished product right here, but my camera is flashing red lights at me right now, meaning it is about to die, and this video is probably pretty long. And you're probably already really, really bored of the countless time lapses and many montages of me putting this thing right here together. So here's one funnel pan before I end the video it doesn't look all that great of course because of the glare and everything on the camera but uh trust me it is pretty freaking sick so i'm going to where is it there we go i'm going to end this video right here part two of building the predatory fish pond now i have this bad boy right here and that little guy right there with mollies guppies platies the mini pond and now the big pond that will house, I mean, I've already said it like 4,000 times, like, channel catfish, gar, crappie maybe, bluegill, bass, definitely a bass, and it should be pretty sick, so if you want to see crazy upcoming videos in the future of this thing, and just of building more things like it, feeding the fish, getting the fish that are going in here, be sure to like this video so I know that y'all enjoy these, and I'll do a ton more, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see all the videos I upload on this if you like this kind of thing and uh, I think that is about it I hope you all enjoyed this little mini series right here and uh, yeah subscribe and I'll see y'all on the next one